Hello, Gamer Clone here, and welcome to my channel. Today I have this Game Boy Advance clone called the Digi Retro Boy. So, what's interesting about this, you could play your games on the TV with this adapter. It comes with an SD card reader, but what inspired me to start making these videos is compatibility issues. Like I've had with the Retron 5, I could play regular Game Boy Advance games on here, but I can't play Hex or Homebrews. So what I did is I started making these videos. I actually have a fan-made hack of Pokemon Red Fire. This is called Pokemon My Ass Version. You can battle Brock wearing a bikini. You have Lieutenant Surge flipping you off. The kid is shirtless and there's very interesting dialogue in there. Adult rated. But first test is we're going to test out this Pokemon, my ass version. We're on the cruise ship. And you'll be fighting Gary. Gary will say some interesting things before you fight him. So let's take this into the TV. And I will see you in a few minutes. So using this fan made hack works. So we have success of playing this on the TV. My only gripe is these buttons right here. Like I have to push kind of hard on the start and select here. And the D-pad is a little bit loose. Not too bad if I'm playing RPGs, but if I want to play something like Mega Man, this could be a problem. Next thing I'm going to show, which I already tried this earlier, is using this SD feature on the TV. When I put this in, I'll demonstrate you can use this as a regular handheld. This is the emulation. I haven't tried the others. They're supposed to have a Nintendo emulator, but it doesn't work. But I'll choose this uh, Game Boy ROM, or Game Boy Advance, I mean. And this is Donkey Kong. So, we're gonna also try this out on the TV. I'll show you what I mean that, uh, what issues you may have trying to hook this up to the TV. Also, as you can tell, sometimes the load times take a while. Here we go. Got the Nintendo logo. The thing I like about this is it has a backlight screen. You see, it does work. Now, I'm going to take this up to the TV in a few seconds and show you the issues you may run into. Alright, let's hook her up and I'll see you in a few minutes. So as you saw when I try to play on TV, you can't even read the game. So if you're going to use the SD card, maybe there's something I might be doing wrong. They do have a website, but it's not really that useful. They have firmware update, but they're still at 1.0. It just doesn't work for me. Maybe if you guys know something I don't, let me know in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.